It's frustrating when issues like border security and political violence are perceived as either steps forward by the government or as acts of dishonesty. The emotional intensity behind these reactions stems from a deep-seated fear about the future of the country and the government's role in safeguarding its citizens. The United States Secret Service did its job, uh, protected the former president, um, uh, eliminated a, a threat, um, and uh, they did phenomenal work, and they deserve to be commended for it. Why do you think this keeps happening? We've had two assassination attempts in as many months. We went a long time in this country without anything as serious uh, as these efforts happening. Why is this happening, and what does the agency need to sort of prevent these close calls? Well, Ankush, um, uh, the director of the FBI and I, uh, Chris Ray and I, have spoken publicly about this. Uh, we are in a heightened threat environment. Uh, it is not only the historic threat that persists of foreign terrorists. It is not only the individuals already resident in the United States radicalized to violence by a foreign terrorist ideology. We're now speaking of individuals radicalized to violence because of ideologies of hate, anti-government sentiment, personal narratives, uh, and other motivations propagated um, on um, online platforms. With respect to former Trump in particular, should he get the same level of security as sitting presidents? There's now been bipartisan calls for that. So we, we um, the United States Secret Service has indeed enhanced uh, the former president's uh, security posture so that he is receiving um, a level of security commensurate uh, with the fact that he is a former president and uh, on the campaign uh, trail. And so his alignment with the security posture of uh, our president uh, is, in fact, uh, quite approximate. Alejandro Mayorkas comments about security measures and border defenses, particularly when contrasted with Donald Trump's policies, often trigger skepticism among conservative audiences. This skepticism is amplified by the criticism Mayorkas faces regarding his handling of border security, reflecting a broader distrust of government officials and agencies. The harsh public reactions, labeling him a liar or traitor, are rooted in frustration over what many perceive as dishonest or incompetent leadership. At the core of this frustration are values like personal responsibility and transparency, which are seen as essential in leadership. As head of the Department of Homeland Security, Mayorkas bears the responsibility not only to protect national security, but also to communicate openly and honestly with the public. When trust in such leaders erodes, emotional responses like anxiety, fear, and anger spread rapidly feeding a sense that government officials are disconnected from the public's real concerns. The label of Mayorkas as the biggest traitor resonates with a conservative belief in accountability. In this view, a leader who fails to secure the nation or who misleads the public must face consequences. The extreme frustration over threats to border and national security often signals a deeper feeling of betrayal, which is further inflamed by political rhetoric from leaders, and media figures that magnify alienation and discontent. For those who feel the government is not adequately addressing critical issues like border control or rising political violence, anger and despair become the dominant emotions. In such an environment, strong and responsible leadership is needed, leadership that prioritizes national security and upholds conservative principles of law and order. The question of whether Mayorkas claim that Donald Trump receives the same level of security as Joe Biden despite the attempted assassination is valid raises concerns about potential political bias. In a heightened threat environment, as described by Mayorkas, it's crucial that security measures remain impartial, ensuring that all former presidents, regardless of political affiliation, receive equal and necessary protection. Failure to do so risks further undermining public trust in government institutions and exacerbating the divide between political factions.